Hey guys, it's me Storm, and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to open up two programs with one shortcut. So I've got two shortcuts on my desktop right now, which I'm going to be turning into one shortcut. And at the top here, I've already got one that I've already done. So as you can see, I open up the shortcut and it opens up two programs. So let's jump right into it. To start, we're going to get two programs. So I've got two shortcuts here, which link to programs. That's what you can do. Then on your desktop, you want to right click. You want to go to files uh, and then you want to open up a new text document name it whatever you want and then just open it up now inside of this this is how we're going to be opening our two programs at once so you just want to put at echo off this is so that the command box prompt whatever you want to call it doesn't appear uh, CMD uh, and then this you want to put start and start again this is going to be for your two programs you can put three four five six doesn't matter uh, the amount of programs you want to start you just put as many as you want there then you put exit that's when you want the program to terminate or otherwise you're probably gonna have a command box appear I believe and you have some weird stuff going on but anyways you want you want to exit so now you want to put quotations you want to have two sets of quotations uh, these quotes are important for setting it up so the first set is kind of like a title I guess you could you could call it that um, don't put anything in there because it'll cause command um, prompt to appear uh, the next one is the path to the program so it'll look something like what I just typed C and then something else or it'll be on a D drive or whatever the drive it is right so you want to do file once you've set this all up and you want to save it and I recommend that you save it uh, to a temp folder which I'll navigate to and show you in a second but you want to name this uh, a bat file so dot bat this is a batch file it doesn't really matter what you do for the, the second part but you know it's just nice anyways so once you've saved it as a batch file I'm just gonna save it here on my desktop first uh, I recommend that first before we go on the second step kind of jumped ahead of myself uh, but you want to open up again and this is where we're going to set it up. So what you want to do is you want to go over to the shortcuts that you want to turn into a single shortcut or the program and you want to find the location of the, the program. So as you can see what's highlighted is the location of the program. Now it's already in quotes so I don't need to do any extra work. Just control copy um, and then you just go back over your thing get rid of the two quotes at the end and just paste it so that's what I'm going to do here easy that's your first program done super easy now I've noticed some programs have some weird startups like League of Legends uh, the shortcut doesn't actually just contain a path to the uh, originating file uh, for the game the exe for the launcher it actually contains uh, an extra couple of strings which do some other startup things which I'm unsure of uh, but you're gonna need to include those so whatever's there in that shortcut definitely include them don't get rid of them I got rid of them but um, it didn't work so I put them back but as you can see I've got these two files set up and it should work perfectly fine now so once everything's all set up you just want to navigate to file and then you just want to save this file so once everything's all saved just close it up and run it and if it runs properly so as you can see uh, that has opened and you can't see it but I'll drag it over the other file has also opened uh, I've got two desktops so it's just continuously opening on my other desktop but regardless it all works perfectly fine which is great so now once you know that it's perfectly fine uh, you want to navigate to uh, your C drive or open up uh, Windows Explorer probably. Uh, so that's just the little file icon. And once you open that, navigate to your C drive or your D drive or somewhere else, somewhere central to your computer. And you want to make a temp file. So I've already made one, but same process, right click, create a folder, name it temp. You can name it something else, it's fine. So as you can see, I already have one batch file sitting in here. That's how I did the demonstration I showed at the start. Now I'm going to drag this one in here. Now you want to remember where you saved this program because you're going to need it to make a shortcut. 
Now this is kind of the important part. This is how you connect it all up and make it look pretty as a shortcut. So you want to make a new one and you want to make it a shortcut. Now you can just paste in the location of it and it'll already be there. Easy. You just need to click on the document. So we called it start. So we'll open that. And then you can name it whatever you want. So I'm going to name it League of Legends because that's the main thing that I'm opening up. Voice attack is secondary. Now that I've opened, now that I've set that as the name, it still looks really bad. Like, you wouldn't really want to have that sitting on your thing. You wouldn't really know what it is. So I'm going to go open up the properties for League of Legends. And as you can see, it has a file directory to an icon file or a .ico file which is the uh, file for icons on Windows. Now, you're gonna go to the icons in here, and as you can see, all the icons for this one are really rubbish. They look like they were made 100 years ago. No, they look like they were made you know, 30 years ago, but regardless, you don't want to use those. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use that directory. You're gonna have copied it, and you're gonna use that, and as you can see, I've uh, I messed up. This took some finicking. I had to remove some of the things because I couldn't just click OK. Um, so that was a pain. But as long as you just mess around, slowly you'll figure out how to find the directory. Normally, um, it'll be a little bit easier. You don't want to navigate directly to the ICO file because that'll lead to an issue. But regardless, um, you just want to navigate to the kind of folder where the icon file is. So as you can see, I just kind of was reading through the location. I just removed a little bit off of it, um, left a little bit, left a letter. So it kind of got confused. There we go. So I navigated to it. Now there's a couple folders in there. I just opened up the first folder and it was the right one. Had League of Legends. Just clicked on that. That's the icon file and just opened that up. Once it's opened up, super easy. Click OK, apply changes, and there you go. You can't even tell the difference. Now, once that's all set up, I guess you can delete the original shortcuts. You can just test it again. So I'll just test it right here. As you can see, it still works perfectly fine. And it really looks like you're just opening up the default uh, normal one, which is the beauty of it. Um, that's why I really like doing that. I don't think a lot of other guides are gonna show you how to do that with the icons. I think that's the kind of important uh, part to me at least is kind of making it look nice but anyways regardless that's pretty much it as you can see that's what the shortcut goes to for all of them they just go to the batch file and they just run the batch file anyways not really important but if you enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe if you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in another one see ya